sleep again, fiddle. This will never do. Everyone else has finished their work and gone home hours ago. You're still three short of your daily quota. This is not good enough, fiddle. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dullsworth. Uh, I'll get those seen to right at once. Let yourself out when you're done. I shall be in my office attending to business. And I don't want to be disturbed. Yes. Someone is calling me? At this hour? Hello. Mr. Fuddle. Mr. Bertram Fuddle. Yes, but it's actually Bertram Fiddle. It's close enough, Mr. Fuddle. This is Mr. Dullsworth's mother. I'm calling you because I hear you have some detectivating experience. Well, yes, I do have a certain reputation for sleuthfulness. Very good. I need someone to do some investigating for me. And as I've been unable to get hold of the esteemed Mr. Holmes, you will have to suffice. Um, certainly, madam. Let me be brief, Mr. Fiddle. My son has been acting most peculiar recently. Find out what he is up to and report back to my house immediately. Good gracious. This seems like the beginning of an adventure. I must finish my work here as quickly as possible. I'll put this in my pocket until I want to use it. Selling soap is thirsty work. Ah, this tea is revolting. It's on. Fuse capacitator. Fuse in. Time to sell some soap. Hmm. Who seems like a suitable customer? Hello. Who is this? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an ex... How did you get this number? Do you know what time it is? It's my relaxing time. That's what it is. Do I sound relaxed to you? Do I? I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry. Don't ever call this number again. You again! I can't believe you called again! Wait till I get my hand on you! I'll make you sorry they ever invented the telephonical calling device! Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavor? Flavor? Um, sort of cleany, flowery? I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> oh, my eyes. Speak up. My eyes are hurting. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Dullsworth, you say? I got some Dullsworth shampoo in my eyes and couldn't see for weeks. And it still stings. I wouldn't use that stuff on my cats. It's a menace. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Is that you, Margaret? Uh, no. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Soap? Oh, no, no, no thank you very much, Lee. I, I never use the stuff. I like things dirty. Ta-da!
Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Oh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out. I ain't got all day. I'm an exceptionally impotent person. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Fiddle, you old dog. Is that you? Uh, no, no, most definitely not. Goodbye. Yes? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for? Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, like blood, for example? Um, probably. Oh, well then, I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh, jolly good. At last, my work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work ticket. Mr. Dullsworth? Mr. Dullsworth? Wherever could he be? Well, I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dullsworth was right. He is up to something. I wonder if he's in the closet. These look like the clothes he was just wearing. A secret exit! This must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dullsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dullsworth need a secret tunnel for? I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. He's got clean away. What could... A mooring, but the boat's not about. What a tidy desk! Mr. Dullsworth stamping machine. I'm sh bother. It's inkless. Bother. It's inkless. Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what he does in here all day. Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. These are debtors' letters. Miss... Hand lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. A photograph of his mother. He must love her very much. A souvenir from the delightful town of Grimsthorpe. A witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. It's an Emerson and Burke safety safe. Solid as a rock.
Ooh, red ink. A letter, quite perfumery, and sealed with a kiss. What a tidy desk. Aha! Now I am legitimized. Barrels of unexceptional shampoo. Imagine the lather we'd be in if something happened to them. Oh, extra adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this is merely a short-term position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely to pay the bills until I get myself a publishing deal. Good for you, Tibbs. Now if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. Evening, Burble! Evening, Burble! Distinct lack of murderings lately. Jeff the murderer not struck again for a long time. Let me have a look at that. Obviously a slow news day. Uh, tell me about it, sir. I've been shouting about nothing for over a year now. Well, they do say no news is good news. Uh, not for me, eh? Good evening, sir. You're working late. Yes, sir. Another convict escaped last night and ran down the sewers. It's like a maze down there. An escape? How thrilling. Indeed. Whisked clean away whilst no one were looking. Was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I'm just here to fill in some gaping holes. This bin is full of peels. This bin is full of... Those chimneys look so majestic in the early evening smog. 